Hi everyone, I'm Bill Andropoulos, the host of the Ambish Video Fishing Vlog. Doing a vlog today on uh, wind fishing. I've done a few little video vlogs in the past, just kind of using wind to your advantage. Um, up here, two hour trip outside of Toronto, Maydock, Ontario, fishing with a friend of mine on the lake that we fish uh, several years in a row. Pretty windy day, as you can probably see in the background, we're actually just drifting here. We've kind of positioned ourselves again in that wind pocket is what I reference it as. A little bit uh, to my left or a little more to my right, we might be missing this, but we're not really doing anything much here with respect to the electric motor or the gas motor, just kind of utilizing this wind here, blowing us along shore. What you're going to do when you're fishing like this is I'm going to cast with the wind. And what I mean by casting with the wind is the wind's blowing that way, I'm going to cast right into it and retrieve this way. What that's going to do is going to allow you to actually not bird nest as much, especially if you're using braided line. Um, key thing there, again, cast with the wind, you'll get a lot farther casts. Uh, there's some mixed reviews on actually doing farther casts. Utilize them at your advantage, guys. Like I said, anytime you're on shore fishing, cast with the wind. If I was to turn around and cast this way, I'm going to have my bait end up about 30, 40 feet to my left anyway. It's going to cause a lot of backlashing, bird nests, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be very, very frustrating. So on windy days like this, position yourself, if you're in a boat, on the water obviously, in a manner where you are in that wind tunnel and cast with the wind, bring back to the boat. Just wanted to share that tip with you guys. See you next time.